Hail to the king, baby. You gotta take big chances in order for potential for a big positive outcome. Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. Back to you today with another very quick episode talking about my favourite project at the moment, the Resorts World Loop. Uh, this project continues to puzzle me, uh, if not fascinate me, and there's been some um, small changes which might have an overall uh, quite large impact on the project. As it were and i just wanted to share that with you today very very briefly okay so first of all um i think the layout has has slightly changed now there's some very very good reasons why that has happened which i'll, I'll come to in a moment but uh, basically proof rock one uh the first iteration of the tbm that the boeing company has been developing um for the last sort of two and a half three years is more more of a straight line machine and struggles uh, with corners and we saw that in the first phase of this project it really did struggle in quite a big way and rather than make uh, extreme changes to the machine uh, they've made some small modifications and they've also simplified uh, the layout and it looks like um, it's going to be done in these two stages here uh, and in as as possible a straight line as you know is, is feasible with the land that they've got there so the the green line here and, and the blue line indicate the, the two various phases that we're going to see and um, the green line has finished so we have seen a breakthrough uh, which is great uh, it moves on to the next stage and hopefully we can get this loop uh, completed um, before the new year um, but I'm suspecting it's going to be maybe uh, January, but we'll have to see. It might be the case that, that they get this up and running very, very quickly, but uh, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, as you all know, I don't have any um, kind of new plans for this project. A lot of this is, is, is coming off uh, assumptions, uh, other people's opinions on Reddit, you know, kind of emails that I'm receiving, pictures. Um, I've spent my entire year, entire kind of uh, working life uh, working from plans and to, to kind of look at a project without plans in for me is, is quite a difficult process but um, this I'm pretty confident is how it's going to work out so we're going to see a new launch in this area in the next few weeks so what has been going on since we last spoke well this is uh, station three uh, where the current uh, Las Vegas Convention Center loop runs um, they've now cordoned off this area here um, and they've begun excavating a uh, shaft now this is going to be a reception shaft um, this photo was taken uh, say about 10 days ago maybe slightly more um, as you can see they're, they're driving some uh, piles into the ground over here we have our auger here just making our openings before the uh, the the, uh, the I beams or H beams, whatever you wish to call them, are driven into the ground, and then the uh, the infill uh, concrete is is inserted in that that opening there to to kind of retain um, those soldier piles. What else has has happened? Well, um, the TBM has gone into the shaft and it's been removed very very quickly, which indicates that they want to get on to the next stage. Um, why did this surprise me? Well, I, I assumed they were going to do this all in one big long stage um, because it's just very, very inconvenient to take the equipment from um, the launch pit and then move it to another launch pit. So you're having to build two launch pits, you're having to move the equipment, you're having to disassemble, reassemble the machine. There's lots of processes in here that I don't like. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It, 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 it feels a little bit awkward for me, but I'm, I'm getting the impression that they are have been kind of forced into this box as it were and they, they need to do that in this kind of uh, um, sequence as it were so as you can see they have begun excavating this uh, reception shaft here and they have used a completely different method uh, for the retaining walls compared to the the launch pit which puzzles me but they have literally gone back to the original method they used at the Hawthorne test tunnel 
the only difference is they've used timber lagging here instead of steel uh, sheet lagging, um, which indicates that the ground conditions here are uh, much better. Um, this kind of construction process is very rare in the UK. Um, more so because it's kind of frowned on a little bit because it's not, it's not as strong as other methods, um, especially with the use of timber. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's not uh, the, the best method for this particular site. And I, I'm, I am actually pleased to see this because it is a fast, cost-effective, uh, uh, simple means of uh, showing up an excavation without considerable bracing. So as you can see, we have our soldier piles here. Um, I'm intrigued as to why these two piles here are uh, a higher elevation than our other piles. Uh, there might be a good reason for that, but I guess we'll find out sooner or later. So this is kind of our, our best, best best picture as it were. As you can see, the TBM has gone into this shaft already. Uh, this was taken just over a week ago and the TBM has been removed. Unfortunately, we missed that, uh, a bit of a shame. Um, I believe that's the TBM here, but it's difficult to say. I can't quite see. Um, excavation is, is quite a depth, as you can see, because as you know, the external diameter of this tunnel is just under 14 foot. So with that on top, you know, you're, you're talking around 22, 22 feet deep, possibly. And this system with soldier piles and lagging works perfectly. Typically in the UK, you, you would see the uh, concrete infills as per the picture here. Um, and I've seen jobs where they've used this, this system. Um, it's still uh, not as common as using uh, secan piles, um, but it's a, it's a good system. Um, it, it's interesting to see this done and to see them move, move the TBM out so quickly. Um, I have some other assumptions that I'm gonna make today. And it, it's interesting because I've always assumed from the drawings that I've seen from things that have been written about this project that the Resorts World Loop would be a completely separate system from the Las Vegas Convention Center. And based on what I'm seeing now, I don't think that's the case. I think they're gonna be fully integrated. Now that doesn't mean that this system then gets integrated into the Las Vegas um, Loop, as it were, the main kind of 36 mile system but it certainly improves the functionality of this particular system. Okay, so why do I think that? Well, here's, here's our station three. Our reception shaft um, is just over here somewhere and they've started work down here. Now, why have they started work down here? I believe they're going to be excavating um, a launch pit here. Why else would they have this auger here? You know, you can see you can see holes down here that they're and they're filling filling them as well. Um, something is happening in this area. Absolutely, definitely. I, I can't think off the top of my head why else they would be basically boring piles in this particular area. I think they're going to construct something very very similar to this launch pit. This launch pit is oversized anyway. So theoretically, if you use some kind of more permanent bracing, uh, steel eye beams, for example, you could reduce the width of this uh, launch pit by another two to three foot quite easily without uh, compromising uh, the ac accessibility of this shaft. So I think in the next two weeks, we will see them come in with their precast concrete um, retaining wall sections assemble a lot, assemble the bracing, uh, complete the rest of the excavation, and then we'll start to see uh, the, the actual conveyor belt system and the back end of the machine, the cradle for the TBM, all that will come in this area here. That's my prediction. But we will have to see. that there's, there's so many unknowns on this project, mainly because I don't have plans for it. If you do have plans for it, or if you know where I can source plans for it, please tell me but I'm really, really struggling in, in terms of finding up-to-date plans for this particular project. I have lots of plans for phase one, lots and lots of plans, but in terms of phase two, and in terms of where launch pits and reception shafts are gonna go and where it's gonna connect up, uh, is quite puzzling to say the least. But these are fascinating uh, 
evolution of this particular project. And overall, the project's gone exceedingly well. The quality of the work is excellent. It can be being completed in good time. And from, from all accounts, it's uh, well within budget. So projects were coming on well. Um, in terms of when they will activate this, this, this next stage and, and link it up to um, station number three, very, very hard to say. Um, it might be might be that they, they initially, if I bring it back to this picture here, um, it might be that they initially operate as a separate system, uh, but then they extend this area here. Uh, there'll be some kind of ramp as well. Um, so it's probably that the ramp will come down this area here. And then you, you might have a, a, an extra turnaround, a couple of extra loading bays, unloading bays in this, this area here. But, like I say, until I see it happen, we'll just make sure that we uh, assume that, that, that's, that that's a possibility. Okay, guys, thanks for watching the video. I uh, hope you enjoy that, and uh, I will continue to keep you posted as to how this uh, project is progressing. Um, as always, please like and subscribe and comment on the video if you've not already done so. Uh, consider following me on these following uh, uh, social media accounts. And also my Patreons, as always, thank you for supporting the channel and keeping us uh, going in the right direction. Okay, and uh, remember guys, stay positive and don't be boring. See you on the next one. Goodbye. Perfect. Hail to the king, baby.